And welcome back to iRescue Radio. I'm Roy. I'm Dan. I'm Jody. And we're going to talk to you about some things that really kind of have to do with something near and dear to my heart. Except it's on your back. <laughs> it's not on my back. It was on one of my kids' backs. And now it's on my mind. A backpack. Not a backpack. <laughs> Not a backpack right. since school let out. Can you braid it? No. So it's not back here. <laughs> He's got that. We're talking about <laughs> cornrows? <laughs> Lyme disease. Ah. Oh. Yes. It's the season. It is the season. Um, and we are in full bloom. Um, yep. In fact, here in Balmy, Michigan, it is said that it's one of the worst. Uh, years for ticks that they've we've had in a long time wow. and it's been bad since 2009 we've seen an increased rate of these um tick born and and blood feasting insect born diseases but specifically i thought because of my experience even though i'm a licensed paramedic and in the medical field i don't have to deal with this every day this is not an immediately life-threatening situation and yet it's a pretty important thing to know how to handle right now and so we thought we would do an episode on this and it's good to be back. So, Lyme disease. You don't want it. No. <clears throat> and here was the biggest thing that I learned about it, is that if the tick is on or embedded in and feasting on its host and engorging with blood, right. you have up to the first 24 hours to get the tick off or out before if you want to really reduce your chances of actually contracting the bacteria driven disease right my question is well if you didn't notice it how do you know if it's been 24 hours unless right. you're doing unless you knew you're out in the woods on Sunday and it's Tuesday you didn't yeah. have it before then right right, right. It, well you have to uh, take into account though there's several different types of ticks too though right we're talking specifically about the black-legged tick or the deer tick. Yes. And he's, he's a little guy. He's a tiny, tiny little guy. He looks about the size of a sesame seed. There are other kinds of ticks, though. We do have them around here. Okay. But so, they're not known to carry... They don't carry the disease. The either. disease. Right. Which is ironic. That's just weird to me. Hmm. But that is that is what the CDC talks about. So we're really pretty lucky, if people believe in luck, uh, that we've got this little deer tick. And here was my problem. It's the weekend, of yeah. course. Yeah. My daughter says to one of my other daughters, can you check my back? I feel like something's biting me. And sure enough, my daughter checks, and here's this little black sesame seed, actually larger than a sesame seed by this point. Mm -hmm. And weirdly, she was able to just pull it off with her fingernails. Mm -hmm. We brought it into the bathroom, laid it on the counter, and I killed it. And I saw that it was filled with blood. It left a red mark on my daughter's back about the size of a dime. Wow. Right away. Yeah. Which I've heard is the reaction to the saliva. Yes. Oh. It's of like the a, tick. It's almost like an allergic reaction. Kind of like a, a localized allergic reaction, yeah, right? Like a mosquito bite? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. A, little, a little bigger than that. And it wasn't raised. It was just red, like she had scratched oh, it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, I call up the doctor and the doctor says, make sure the head is completely out. Yep. So I double check to make sure that the head was out. Yep. Um, and she said, if it's not out, you need to get it out. Yes. So using a tweezers or you said possibly even a pin. Yeah. I don't know, like yeah. it, almost like it's a yeah, sliver, like sliver, right? Yeah. If you don't get it out, the head will just cause a really nasty, nasty infection at yeah, the side but, of the wound. But the other thing you mentioned was, don't explode it. Yeah, don't on, squeeze don't it. Don't squeeze it in. Because, because of the... Um, the bacteria. The bacteria, bacteria. may not yeah. have been secreted yet from the tip. Exactly. Well, if he's embedded, you got it. They, they got said it. more 24 than 24 hours. hours. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the, you're right. The nurse said, don't squeeze it, because that can inject the, the, the juices right. from the... Right. Yeah, I'm not yeah. using real technical terms, but I mean, that's yeah. kind of what it is. Yeah. This bacteria that is inside the tick is found in the gastric juices inside the tick okay. from what I from runner red. And I cleaned it with alcohol. Yep. 
washed it really good, and then I put triple antibiotic ointment. Yeah, oh. yeah. All right. So I call, I call my doctor, and they immediately run it by the doctor and call back, and they prescribed prophylactic doxycycline, okay. one treatment, 300 milligrams, one time, as a preventative. It's an oral. It's an oral. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was just amazed on how fast they worked on this. And it wasn't until later that I realized that if you do catch the disease in the early stages, yeah. before it gets this bullseye ring, or soon after, but before the person starts really getting deep symptoms, right? treatment is pretty good. It's pretty quick. I mean, it's very, very effective. Or like that bullseye ring, if you see the actual ball, and it does look like a bullseye. Yeah. If you see the bullseye, you got the center, and then you got like a ring around it. And that's the classic sign of a tick. Red ring around red, white so, area. You know, so you got a red red uh, center. center, a white area, and then another red ring. Yep. That's a classic symptom. Classic tick symptom. What I learned and why I thought it was really vital that we get this out is untreated bacteria that causes Lyme disease right. can have lifelong and potentially dangerous side effects. Yep. Like what? Heart problems, neurological problems. Um, an actual joint disease yes, joint that's disease. common to oh, really? severe arthritis, mm -hmm. but it's Lyme arthritis, Lyme-related yeah, arthritis. Never heard of that. Yep. And um, and I just think about how active my child is. Right. I can't imagine blowing this off and saying, ah, you know, chances of her getting it. Ah, we'll just see yeah. how it goes. Yeah. And I really, I just thought, and I was thinking about doing an episode on this on the Royan Rescue Show, and I thought people got to know about this. Yeah. Oh, people want to know. Yeah. Because I, I went through the first quarter of my life, never saw a tick. Right. It wasn't until we traveled to the, some southeastern states that I was even made aware of them. We had always had fleas. Yep. We had dogs that were on a lake. Yep. So we had a lot of beach fleas. Yep. So I was used to those. But I cannot believe as, much, as active as we were in the woods that we wouldn't have run into ticks. Yeah. So you just wonder... Um, were they just not prevalent in that time, or, or what? But different, different areas. It's it's changed over the, over the years too. It's been regionalized. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, from what I've heard, we've never seen the Lyme disease problem though yeah. as much when we were growing up in the 70s, right? right. 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 As we have it now in no. this decade. Hmm. So it, there's definitely a rise of the disease. Um, symptoms, hmm. flu-like symptoms, headaches, general malaise, which is a, a tiredness, a weakness. A, um, achiness yep. very much like the flu symptoms stiff right. neck yep. but then it's it's the the what they call a chronic Lyme disease yep. issue or the chronic suffering that comes yep. afterwards that can last the rest of their life yep. and that can include dysrhythmias and arrhythmias of the heart right um, neurological disorders that are absolutely incapacitating yeah. oh yeah, yeah. Hmm. Joint I, disorders oh my yeah. goodness and I just thought man if we can, and, and it's not a 100% done deal. If you get the treatment, you'll never get, the, right. there still is right. a small percentage that you could still get the long-term chronic disease, right. but the, re, the reduction of the chances are substantial if it's detected early, treated early, and especially the prophylaxis with the, the doxycycline early. Okay. It takes nothing to bring your kids in for the nightly bath and do a, a top to bottom once over looking into wrinkles, um, you know, creases in their body, um, making sure that in the hairlines behind the ears, yeah. any place you think one of these see. little parasites could be hiding, we need to be looking for it and getting them removed. Yeah. So just some common sense things to think about as we're into the warm months, June through, what is it, October? I don't even know the, I think, it, I don't know when the cutoff is, but they're pretty prevalent. Probably till the first big freeze, right? Yeah, we probably think. I thought you were going to say you are going to spray yourself with pesticide. But <laughs> well, I wasn't sure. I kind of, that's yeah. an <laughs> you. No, I would think that's probably about yeah. right. <laughs> so anyways, we hope this helps. We wanted to get this out to you before the this coming weekend. We, you know, it's getting nice and um, it's hit home for me. So if there's anything we can do to help you become more aware of how to prevent yep. this. Any meat, questions you've got. Absolutely. Yeah. Send ask, them on in. Ask Dan. Ask Dan. I'll, I'll forward them. He'll be at work. Because <laughs> we'll be my point is, <laughs> don't go outside. Yeah, that's the problem. So if you're going to go outside, <laughs> oh yeah. Him. Yeah, this is the guy who's always out playing disc golf. <laughs> well, you're, uh, you're a disc golf guy. Well, well, you're outside. So that's the extent of my nature walk. Camping's off the hook, but. You know. Yeah. 
You could stay in the middle of the lake on a boat. Yeah. I swear I prefer to be. Hard yeah. to pick up ticks yeah. out there. Yeah. 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 Or on a golf course. Or on a golf course. Yeah. Well, well, we're Jody Golfs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, listen, I am in a high risk for ticks well, because I'm always searching for my ball. Right. In the woods. So and in the it's a normal <laughs> golf course, but we're forever in the woods. Right. right. Pretty much. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> so, for my rescue radio, we hope this helps. I'm Roy. I'm Dan. I'm Jody. And we'll see you next time.